Why do nail specimens have a different window of detection? When the nail is formed in the germinal matrix, which is back here, um, drug is incorporated at that point. And as the nail grows outward, not only does it grow out, but it grows in thickness as well. And from the underside, material is being added, included drugs of abuse. So when the fingernail reaches the end of the fingertip, that portion of nail that you clip has been growing and moving along that nail bed for four to six months. It's going to depend on the health of the individual. So when we get a positive, we have to say that the detection window could be up to approximately six months. For toenails, for the same reason, 12 to 14 months. Um, does it mean that it was actually in there? We know that with ETG, it's shorter. Uh, ETG is very water soluble. So as you wash your hands, you're, act you're actually extracting some of it out. Thankfully, fingernails are very thick. And so uh, uh, penetrating in and extracting it out is very difficult and uh, toenails are even thicker and you don't wash your feet as much as you wash your hands. However, there's not a lot of data with ETG fingernails, so I shouldn't have mentioned that, but, um, but, but that's the reason for the difference of detection one. It has to do with the age of the specimen that is being collected, harvested. If someone cuts their nails down to the quick, how long do you have to wait for them to grow out? Give them two or three weeks and that new emergent clipping or distal edge will be fresh material that's going to be representative of the six months prior to the, uh, uh, to the collection. Are fingernail drug tests admissible in court? Yes, I've testified uh, in many states. Uh, I don't have a, a list on me, but I've testified in at least four or five states and used fingernail results and, uh, and one toenail. Do you have to have all 10 nails? What if I can't get all 10? If you only have nine, go ahead. It's all about the weight. We encourage 10 because two millimeters times 10 is going to give us the, um, the 100 milligrams that, that we like to get. Uh, but send us what you got and we'll do the best that we can with what we receive. Do you have any tips to avoid flinging fingernails during the collection? One thing you can do is have the donor wash his hands prior to the collection, and that uh, uh, keeps the nail from being so dry and brittle. Uh, you're not going to wash out uh, 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 any uh, significant amount of drug, if at all. Uh, number two, uh, you can prepare like a little tent out of paper and, uh, and have them hold their hand under that uh, while they do the collection. Is it wrong to remove fingernail polish at the collection site? or should it be done prior to the donor getting to the collection site? The nail polish can be done uh, 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 at either place. Uh, I'm sure you don't have all day to be a manicurist. Um, I would request my donors, if, if I were operating a collection site, I would request my donors to remove it before they got there, but um, I would be prepared to do it. Acrylics and gels and that kind of a thing, I, I would send them back to their, to their manicurist to, to, uh, to have that done. Is there any way to adulterate a fingernail test, such as soaking your fingernails in bleach? I would assume so, um, but it's not been documented. Uh, that would be something that I would probably try. If I had something I wanted to hide, I don't. But, uh, if I did, that would be uh, one way to go. Uh, but uh, there's not been any studies on that, and that's probably a good opportunity for a, uh, for a research project that would have value.